Hello, and welcome to the new student enrollment presentation here at Northwestern Connecticut Community College. My name is Rebecca Russo, and I am one of the Guided Pathways advisors on our campus. The goal of this presentation is to inform you of some of the important tools you will need to be successful as a student during your time here. All community college students from registration to completion are supported by a Guided Pathways advisor. For the purpose of the presentation, I will refer to them as GPAs. The job of your GPA is to create an individualized academic and career plan designed to meet your goals, assist you in the selection of courses that satisfy your degree requirements, actively monitor your academic progress and connect you with additional resources, explain policies that may impact your academic or registration status, Identify and assist in any barriers affecting your college experience and partner with your faculty academic advisor to support your academic goals. Your job as a student is to know who your GPA is, where their office is located, and the hours of availability. You should maintain ongoing communication with your GPA throughout the semester. Actively participate in your advising experience by engaging with your GPA. Work collaboratively with your GPA in identifying your personal abilities, interests, and goals. And maintain honest communication with your GPA so they may provide you any additional support needed. To make an appointment with your GPA is easy. Simply log on to the nwcc.edu website select advising and choose your assigned GPA with a date and time that best suits your schedule. If you are unsure who your GPA is, select the corresponding major on the list and the advisor's name will be with it. Choosing the right major can be a difficult decision, but it's not one you have to make on your own. Not every student knows which career path they want to take and that is okay. Your GPA is here to help you in identifying where your strengths are and suggesting majors that might be a good fit for your skill set. Some important questions to ask yourself are, what are your plans after graduation? Do you want to transfer to another institution or enter the workforce? If your plans are to transfer, are you considering a Connecticut State College or University? NCCC offers a variety of transfer ticket majors, which are programs designed to transfer seamlessly to the Connecticut State Universities. We also have transfer agreements with schools such as Charter Oak State College, UConn, and other selective programs. If you are planning on transferring to another institution, please let your GPA know and they can assist you in the next steps. There are many options in paying for college. Some of those options include financial aid, scholarships, or simply paying out of pocket. The first step in applying for financial aid would be to complete your FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid and can be located on the studentaid.gov website. It is important to fill out your FAFSA early so that you may have the information before registering for classes. Scholarships are awarded every spring and are available to apply for on the financial aid website. And our cashier's office can assist you in any billing questions and help you with payment plan options if you are planning to pay out of pocket. Depending on your financial aid eligibility, you may qualify for a federal work study job on campus. Eligible students may work up to 20 hours per week on campus at an hourly rate of $13. To apply for an on-campus student employment position, please fill out an application on the nwcc.edu website under financial aid. If eligible, you will be contacted by a member of the financial aid office. Or for further questions, please email nw-finaid at nwcc.edu. The Connecticut Community Colleges offer students a one-stop shopping college portal called MyComNet. Here you can access your banner self-service, Blackboard, your student email, 
Office 365, and DegreeWorks from one convenient location. You will need your banner ID and password to log in. Once you are an accepted student, you will receive an email from the admissions office, including your banner ID and password information. This is what your MyComNet dashboard will look like. To the right of your screen is an area titled Banner Self-Service. Here, you can navigate your student records, obtain a copy of your transcripts, check your grades, register for classes and check your schedule, apply for any selective admission programs, review your financial aid, sign up for a payment plan, or pay your bill. To the middle of the screen is your Blackboard account. Once in Blackboard, you will find a list of the courses you are currently registered for. Blackboard is where you will go to interact with any online courses. Once in Blackboard, this is a sample of what your course shell would look like. Your course will have the following sections, an area for any announcements, the course syllabus, any course content, discussion boards, and your grades. Towards the bottom of the screen is the area to access your college email. Your college email is extremely important and should be checked on a daily basis. Please note that your college email is the only way your advisors, faculty, and other members of the college community will communicate with you during your time here at Northwestern. To the left of your screen, you will see an area titled Access Degree Works. Degree Works is a roadmap designed to guide you throughout your degree from your first semester to graduation. Some important information you will find includes your academic advisor, your current academic standing, your degree progress, and any holds that may be on your account. You will also find a list of required classes, your grades, and any remaining courses left to take. Lastly, the What If feature is a tool designed to compare your courses with other degrees. If you are thinking of changing your major, you can use the What If feature to see which of your classes will fit into a different area of study. Accessing the course schedule is easy and does not require a username or password. Simply log on to www.my.comnet.edu and on the right side, select Search for Course Offerings. From there, you can search by term, school, instruction type, days and times, or the subject. Once you have accessed the course schedule, here's a sample of what it will look like. There are some important things to know before registering for your classes. Beginning from left to right, the first is the CRN or course registration number. Each course is given a four digit number that you will need when you go to register for your classes. The next is the subject and course. Each course is given a subject and course number that are associated with it. For the purpose of this presentation, we will look at the first line of the schedule which shows ACC 113. We can see that that subject in course is titled Principles of Financial Accounting. The next important thing to know is the method of instruction. If your class is listed as online, this means that the class is completely online and you will be working independently. If the instruction method is listed as LROM, that means that it is a live remote classroom and you will be required to log in on specific days and times to a virtual classroom. If your instruction method is listed as traditional, this means that it is a fully on ground, on campus course. And lastly, if your method of instruction is listed as hybrid, this may mean that it is a combination of an online and on campus class or a virtual classroom and an on campus classroom as well. The next thing to know are the days and times of your classes. If your class is listed as MW, that means it meets on Mondays and Wednesdays. If your class is listed as TR, that means that your class will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If your class has a single day, such as F, that means that your class meets once a week on Fridays. It's important to note that if your class is listed as R, that means that it will meet once a week on Thursdays. The next part of the schedule shows an area that demonstrates the size of each class. CAP stands for the capacity of the class, and in our example, this class holds 25 seats. The ACT stands for the actual number of seats that are already filled for the class, 
and REM stands for the remaining seats and how many are left for your class. The last two important things to notice are the dates and locations of your class. Not all classes meet for the same duration. So when choosing a class, it is important to know which date your class begins and when it ends. NCCC offers 15, 13, and seven week classes. The location of your class is listed in the last column on our course schedule. If your class is online, the location will state online. If your class is LRON or in the virtual classrooms, it will read LRON. If your class has a building and a room number next to it, that means that you will be required to be on campus in the corresponding building and room number. For example, ASB stands for the Arts and Science Building. For a more detailed map of the campus, you can find that on the nwcc.edu website. Since there are many methods of class instruction, including fully on campus, live remote, or completely online independent courses, it is important to know that there is an attendance policy regardless of how you attend class. Depending on the method of instruction, students can expect to be required to physically attend a class on campus when applicable, log in to all virtual and online classes regularly, submit assignments and exams on time, and participate in online discussions when applicable. The first two weeks of class are crucial and students who do not attend class and do not show active participation may fall subject to removal from the class at the instructor's discretion. This may result in financial aid issues. So if you find you are struggling early on, it is best to reach out to your instructor and your GPA for support. The NCCC Bookstore is located on the second floor of Greenwoods Hall, or you can access their direct website by logging on to www.nccshop.com. Or you can also access their website by visiting the nwcc.edu website and selecting bookstore. There are many resources in and beyond the classroom for students on campus. Our Academic Success Center offers a variety of tutoring services for students free of charge in a one-on-one -on -one format. The center is located in Founders Hall, room 306, and is staffed with highly qualified tutors. Availability is flexible, so please visit the nwcc.edu website under tutoring for more details or to schedule your appointment. In addition to the Academic and Success Center, Dr. Ruth Gonzalez is our mental health and wellness coordinator on campus. She is a licensed counselor and can provide additional support and resources beyond the classroom to you if needed. Please feel free to write down her phone number and email should you feel you need further assistance. Deneen Hutter is our on-campus Student Accessibility Services Coordinator. She assists students with additional in-classroom accommodations, such as note-taking services and other useful tools for academic success. Please note that appropriate documentation will be required to receive any of these adjustments or services. If you received a 504 or IEP plan in high school, this could be an excellent resource for you to continue your educational success. Again, please feel free to write down her phone number and email should you feel that these services apply to you. In addition, we also offer other services on campus. Those include our SNAP employment and training program, the Food for Thought Student Food Pantry, our Student Emergency Fund, the Peer-to-Peer -peer Mentor Program, and lastly, we have a STEM Scholars Program for our STEM students. Students that are in this field will be assigned a mentor and be eligible for scholarship funds. Please contact Professor Guskey from the information below should you feel that you are interested in this resource. The NCCC Library is also a great resource for students here on campus. In addition to visiting the library for books and other reference materials, you can go to the library to obtain your student ID card, to receive research and reference assistance, use our computer labs or group study rooms, use our phone charging station, or our self-service scanning and printing area. We also offer a variety of virtual options. To learn more about our library services, please check our homepage at the nwcc.edu slash library section of the website. 
If you are a student that needs public transportation to get to campus, you can get your U-Pass here at Northwestern. To obtain your U-Pass, you can either visit the library or our Student Activities Office in Greenwoods Hall, room 110, or at our cashier's office, also in Greenwoods Hall, located on the second floor. The U-Pass is available to both full and part-time students, taking at least one class per semester on campus. All students taking on ground or online may obtain a pass. For more information, please visit nwcc.edu slash upass. Thank you for joining me. This concludes our presentation for new students. For further information or if you have any questions, please contact your Guided Pathways Advisor by setting up an appointment on the nwcc.edu website under Advising. Thank you.